<laughs> All right, give it up for your next act, the opposite of orange. Akif Jalil, everybody! I didn't notice the color until now. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> My name is Stephen Iyengar. <laughs> Okay, okay. I come from this very, very far away place called Navalur. I don't know why people are laughing at Navalur. <laughs> Ma'am, can you just play, uh, can you just spell Navalur for me? N-A-V-A-L-U-R. Round of applause. <laughs> She's wrong. <laughs> it's actually spelled N-A-V-A too fucking far away. <laughs> It is so far, guys, it's so far away. I have stopped making excuses to meet my friends. I don't, like, they'll be like, bro, let's go have a party, bro. I'll be like, bro, Navalur. <laughs> they'll be like, bro, come to my house, bro. I'll be like, bro, Navalur. <laughs> then one guy was like, bro, I'll come to Navalur. I was like, oh, really? And he was like, give 300 rupees. I was like, why? And he was like, bro, Navalur. <laughs> the weird thing about Navalur is dating. Because I was on, a, uh, on an app, okay, on Tinder, and I was just swiping right. So that's what people do. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Women do this. Oh shit, by mistake. <laughs> so what I did was, I, I went and I just tried, dude. Okay, I kept on. And at, at one point, okay, I stopped swiping on people. I started swiping on pieces of land. <laughs> Aryar, Udu Anjeri, Nungambakam, Navalur. I saw it right there also. But they were like, no, no, we don't give land to Muslims. So I was like, oh. Oh, BJP Tinder. <laughs> Which is a lotus on fire. <laughs> Stephen Iyengar. <laughs> I've, I've, I've tried, to, but like I got one match on Tinder. I was very proud. I got one match. And we started texting. We had a great response, yo. She was texting back, I was texting back. And then at one point she asked me, Where do you stay? <laughs> ah, cable? Question mark. Smiley face. And I went, <laughs> Nabulu. <laughs> She gave me her phone number, guys. She gave me her phone number and I had to ask her, why? And she was like, Navalur, bro. I don't know what to do. But I stay in like a very posh place in Navalur. Like, there were kids who were playing cricket, okay? Do you guys remember like street cricket? Do you remember what you wore for street cricket? You wore a what? You wore, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you wore a frog, of course. Do you remember what you wore, bro? What did you wear? A frog. <laughs> if he wants to. <laughs> what did you wear, bro? What did you wear? Just normal. These kids. I knew I was in a very posh place in Navalur because the kids were wearing knee pads, <laughs> helmet, cup. Some kids wore very big cups. I was like, <laughs> Is it supposed to be that size? <laughs> and then like, as they were playing cricket, I was watching this like a normal person watches cricket. Not, a, not like a creepy person. And I saw this kid, okay, hit this beautiful four, the ball came to me. And guys, the cutest fucking five-year-old I've ever seen in my life here. Five, so big guys running up to me like this. By the way, this is how I run. <laughs> running up to me like this and saying, Anna, ball Anna. I was like, oh. A part of me was like, oh. But the comedian in me was <laughs> like, no. <laughs> so I went up close to the kid and I whispered into his ear, I'm going to eat you like a creepy person. <laughs> the kid fell down. His, his knee started bleeding all over the place. And I'm looking over this child going like, oh shit, no oh shit, no oh shit, no oh shit. He's looking for his friends. His friends left three years ago. <laughs> I'm looking into this kid's eyes. This kid is going to therapy in the next three years because of me. And 
I am doing this thing only. <laughs> I am looking at this kid and don't do this when you are in front of a kid like towering over the kid like me, okay? Because I was looking over, down at the kid and going, shh, I didn't do it. <laughs> Keep quiet. <laughs> Everybody else is looking at me going like, you did something, no? <laughs> and out of nowhere, this mother comes up, picks this kid up and that day I realized that mothers can have two emotions at the same time. So mother was looking at the baby and going, oh, jo -jo -jo. Oh, jo -jo -jo. Day. <laughs> I was waiting, I was trying to explain myself. She asked, what did you do? What did you do? I looked at her and I said, listen, ball came, he came, and now ball, I'm going to eat you. The mother did this. <laughs> I said, not you, man. And one point, and at, at one point, like after all of this, the father came into the picture, okay? And the mother was looking like one rap hype artist who was going, wait, motherfucker, wait. <laughs> that guy's going, fuck you up. <laughs> the kid is like, hey, bale, bale. <laughs> and like the father walks in, looks at the son and says, shut up. The kid stops crying. The mother's like, oh, wait, wait. And then he asks me the question, what did you do? Yeah. I look back at him and I say, Ball came, he came, and now ball, I'm going to eat you. There was a pause. And then that guy started laughing. <laughs> the mother looked at the both of us and said, did you guys have an affair? <laughs> the son was looking at them, I'm adopted, no? They all leave, there's just the father now. I look at the father and I ask him, sir, why did you laugh? And he says, today morning, I told my child, if he doesn't eat his vegetables, somebody will come and eat him. <laughs> I was like, thank you, sir. <laughs> Would you like to come for a show, sir? He was like, 300 rupees. Bro, Navalur. <laughs> That's been my time. You guys have been in the audience.